So I want to wish everybody a good afternoon. Uh, it's an honor and privilege to be here today. I want to thank Tim Sullivan, uh, Ward 7 School Committee member for being here. I know Tim Cruz, the city clerk, is here. I want to thank representatives from uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Timothy Cruz for being here as well. I want to thank all the uh, city staff. I want to thank Brockton Police for being here as well. Um, but at the end of the day, this is about doing what's right in the city of Champion, city of Brockton. Brockton, Massachusetts has always been a welcoming community. So we did this, uh, since I've been mayor, we've been doing um, trans flag raising, uh, LGBTQIA+, um, uh, uh, as well. Uh, we, we've, done, we've done a lot because this is a welcoming community. And as long as I'm the, I'm the mayor of the city of Brockton, we're going to continue to showcase the beautiful diversity in the city of Brockton. I want to thank my office for uh, helping coordinate this again. There's a lot of representatives here today. I know Superintendent Mike Thomas is en route. I want to thank the Brockton Enterprise for being here, Mark. Is that a camera that's going to get rid of my double trend? Huh? Oh, Special camera? Huh? Huh? We also, uh, the mayor's office acquired some really wonderful cookies from Montilio. So after the ceremony, again, please help yourself. But I want to, uh, I want to thank again the elected officials for being here. I want to thank uh, Health Imperatives. Uh, Julia, Julia Keogh's not here, right, yet? Uh, she'll be coming. Uh, I want to thank uh, Bragley Youth Peer Group for being here. I want to thank BAMC, t -Core, and Caden Donovan. Uh, but more importantly, I just want to thank each, each and every one of you. So at this time, uh, I'm going to ask um, Caden to please come forward of t -Corp. Good to see you. So we have an official mayoral uh, proclamation. Whereas the Transgender Day of Remembrance is, is observed in late November in recognition of the murder of Rita Hester in the year 1999, and serves to honor the memory of those who have perished because of anti-transgender prejudice. And whereas an ongoing epidemic of violence committed against transgender and gender non-conforming people continues to heighten and claim the lives of too many people in the United States and across the globe. Whereas the city of Brockton strives to be an inclusive community in which our residents not only take great pride in our diversity, but aim to provide safety, prosperity, equality, and hope for all that live or work in our great city. Whereas Brockton residents will use this day of remembrance as an opportunity and a reminder to give, to give the transgender community its roses while they are still here. And whereas the human race must recognize the human rights of all citizens and support an end to all forms of prejudice, discrimination, and violence. Now therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, hereby proclaim today, November 20th in the year 2022, in our fine city as Transgender Day of Remembrance. And I ask respectfully all residents and business owners in our fine city to please join me in observing this day. It's signed and sealed today proudly uh, by myself, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton. Thank, thank you so very, very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I sincerely cannot express enough gratitude to the City of Brockton for making inclusivity such a huge part of Brockton in itself. As a trans person who grew up in Brockton and experienced a lot of discrimination from people, it has gotten significantly easier to be a trans person in Brockton. So I just want to give it a hand. Thank you so much, Mayor Sullivan. Thank you. So again, I, I do, I, I know there's probably a few people that are delayed coming here today. Um, I, I would be remiss if I don't thank, again, the custodial staff for always setting up. Uh, we've done a lot of flag raising since I've been mayor to really showcase the wonderful diversity of the city of Brockton. But we couldn't do these flag raisings outside or inside without the help of the custodian. So, Dan, thank you. Thank you. So, again, uh, I, before we raise the flag, uh, again, I want to just say that uh, the Human Rights Campaign reports at least 32 transgender and gender nonconforming people have been killed in violence in this year, 2022, and at least 50 were killed the previous year. And then we know the numbers are a lot higher because a lot go unreported. Again, that heinous attack that just happened in Colorado in the nightclub truly illustrates uh, where we lost five individuals and over 25 more were injured. So we need to continue to work together. We are so much better together. We have a wonderful, wonderful city. We have hardworking policemen and women that serve and protect. And again, today, I, I want to just say thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for working together. Knowing that this is a week of Thanksgiving, I give thanks for each and every one of you as a Brocktonian, as a father, as the mayor, and at this time, Superintendent Mike Thomas would like to say a few words. So 
So I just want to um, say thank you for having me. Uh, such an important day. Um, being in the school system, um, I have the luxury of working with students uh, from all backgrounds um, and how they care about each other. I mean, people think now that it's really difficult to be a student in a school. Um, and I look and I said, you know, it's not as bad as we think because how supportive they are of each other, uh, how they are so, so supportive of everybody's different backgrounds, their beliefs, um, how they identify, they are so supportive of each other. So that wasn't always the case, obviously. Um, and I am a graduate of Brockton High, but seeing that the compassion our students show for each other in each other's differences is amazing. So this is a great day. Um, thank you for having me, Mayor. Um, and again, um, school system is a place where we have to continue to make sure we educate so everyone feels safe and comfortable in their environment. And we are committed to do that from our mayor, from our school committee, uh, and through the administration to our teachers and our students. So thanks again for having me and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you. So before I ask Julia Kehoe to come up to the podium, we've created a new marketing uh, scheme here in Brockton. Brockton is a business, right? We're in the people business. Our budget is a half a billion dollars a year, $540 million. It's right here, it's where better begins. And I can't think of anything more appropriate than saying today, in honor of transgender, um, where better begins, it begins here in the City of Champions. It begins here, um, having the hard conversations, listening and learning to be an effective leader of a school or of a city, you have to be a good listener. So again, at this time, I always listen to this person because when she speaks, we need to listen. Julia Keel. Mayor, and it truly is where better begins. I think this is such a somber day, um, especially today. I'm so grateful to be with you and your leadership in the city and live in Massachusetts, um, where our leaders, including the first uh, LGBTQ governor that we've ever had, um, are so committed to trans rights and everyone. Um, in the community's rights at a time where in other parts of the country people are trying to take away rights and diminish trans youth and trans individuals humanity um, and it's not a cultural discussion it's not a disagreement it's not a political disagreement it's human rights and it's unacceptable and um, while we in the past have talked about Stonewall and how we're here to remember people who've died in the past. Here we are just a couple days after the most recent tragedy um, and it keeps happening. And some of it has to do with the need for gun control and some of it has to do with the hate that is just too common and too accepted in our society. So it's an honor to be here in a city with a leader who is speaking out and not only talking about trans rights, but talking about the strength of the trans community and the LGBT community in general and all that you all bring to us. And at Health Imperatives, I'm so proud to work with the youth leaders of Bragley who are here today, who can talk about all that they do and bring so much to all of us. And also our work in our, um, our sexual and reproductive health clinics where we proudly offer gender affirming hormone therapy. Um, and we're starting to see more and more youth who are in need of that and we're working toward making it more available. And again, in a place where even in Massachusetts, people are you know, going to um, protest at Children's Hospital for trans health. And we are here to not only make sure that people have access to it, but to increase access. So thank you all for all you do and for who you are and thank you for including us. So this is why you're all here today, right? So at this time, I'm going to ask anybody and everybody, the Bragley folks, uh, t Core folks, Health Imperatives folks, BAMSI folks, let's all come and uh, raise the flag together in solidarity.
So again, I, I do want to thank uh, my my, uh, my office team, Sydney Merrill, my chief of staff, Jay DeGrace, who uh, he actually set this all up today. So Jay, thank you very, very much. I want to thank uh, Kim in my office, and Masi in my office, and John Messia, my director of constituent service, and the newest member of our team, Kevin Blaze. Although he's a New Yorker, he's now a Brocktonian. So thank you, Kevin. You don't like the Red Sox yet, though, Kevin. We'll win that over. But again, I just I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their busy schedules. Uh, we will uh, have Lebanese flag raising tomorrow. All right. So again, we'll continue to work together. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our city of champions, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you.